Good morning, folks. We've got two solar warnings. Another coastline is inundated by the oceans. Earthquake watch is peaking once again, and the weather won't be friendly tonight. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a number of features on the Earth-facing disk, but let's begin with the activity you're seeing top left over the incoming limb. A towering plasma filament lifted up into the corona, part ejected as a weak CME, and the rest dives southward and triggers an eruption in CME just within view of the Earth-orbiting satellites at what is likely a sunspot group down there. It'll be interesting to see if that continues erupting when facing Earth, but meanwhile the first imminent eruption warning is for these thin dark plasma filaments. They can erupt at any moment. Their crooked orientation here across such a distance means destabilization can happen anywhere along the chain. The other solar warning is for electrons surging to Earth. Remember, the hashed line is storm conditions, and it's a log chart on the y-axis. GOES-15 registered minor storm conditions the last two days, but we could see an intensification with both satellites registering level 1 or even level 2 storms. Up next, folks, when I first saw the story, I didn't know if it was real. A tsunami in Greenland, with the USGS registering a few quakes into the North Atlantic, but they show nothing on the West Coast, which is where indeed something like a tsunami occurred. No blaming a big storm for this one, and indeed locals say a small earthquake was felt before the tides rose. Whether that's the whole story or there is something atmospheric as well is yet to be seen. Folks, if you didn't catch it last night, at midnight Eastern Time in the U.S., we released Food, Weapon of Mass Destruction. I clipped the best portion of August Dunning's talk from Observing the Frontier 2017, I added in one of our Deeper Look episodes, and I clipped audio from my 2016 presentation at Observing the Frontier. We're back now at the sun, where the northern coronal hole is beginning to face Earth as CME coupling continues to be a factor and Mercury will conjoin the sun in less than two days. We've been seeing significant blot echo activity. South American one looks to be migrating northward, while the Oceania alert is pretty much right there. Earth spots enhancing the minor signals near Japan as well, and let's go down under first on the wind map to see Oceania has their own Earth spot. Luckily dancing between the islands thus far, but anywhere he goes, he'll be seeing people. That same pattern is shaping up in the U.S. again tonight on the southern convergence line from the eastern Canadian low. Tropical system moving into the Gulf of Mexico as well. Eyes open. We're going to have the rest of the world's weather and shots of our star to close. And we're going to do this all again tomorrow right here. But right now it's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.